Sutino, known as Kinong, has pioneered the concept of mobile libraries in Jakarta. Kinong began his career as a BEMO driver in the 1980s, a common and now iconic public transport in Indonesia. But in 2017, the government decided to ban its operations in Jakarta. That immediately put Kinong out of a job, until a few years ago when he decided to modify one of his old BEMOs for a good cause. When I first started, I never imagined I could inspire that many children. But after a few years of driving around, I began to see the positive benefits. I thought, I'm nearing retirement anyway. It's my responsibility to be a good human being and help others. Kinong began spreading his love for books and reading in 2013, often driving around for hours in narrow alleys with his stash of books behind him. In 2016, a research showed that Indonesia ranks second last in reading interest. This shows that the government and local communities need to come together to create effective programs to make reading a cultural habit. In the past couple of years, communities have set up movements that helps to expose the younger generation to the importance of reading. One of them is Indonesia Mangajar, which translates to Indonesia Teaches. The organization sends educated youth to teach young children in remote areas across Indonesia. Our challenge is how to instill an interest in reading in children during the age of technology. We believe it is important that our volunteers teach children to understand the importance of learning. From what we have seen, Indonesia's education system is moving in a positive direction, and we are grateful for that. Kinong's interest in books is already beginning to transform the lives of the children he meets on a daily basis. His great determination to help educate the children of the country has taken him to places he never thought possible. Sulkina Aluwalia, CGTN, Jakarta.